Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of bilateral adnexal endometriomas. A 25-year-old female patient came with a history of dysmenorrhea. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the transverse section of the lower abdomen. You can see posterior to the urinary bladder, there are two cystic areas. You can see the uterus in between. This one is the right one and this one is the left one. Both have almost similar echogenicity, which is hypoechoic and homogeneous. The right one looks quite larger than the left one. This homogeneous hypoechogenicity with fine low level internal echos you see here indicates these lesions to be endometriomas. Here you can see these lesions on different preset. In case of endometriomas, on transabdominal ultrasound, it's better to change the presets if you face confusion about the echogenicity. You can see the uterus here in between these two endometriomas. The ovaries could not be separately visualized here, but as you can see on transverse section, both endometriomas come nearby. Like we see in kissing ovaries, there is possibility of adhesion. Now you can see the color Doppler images and you can see there is no internal vascularity within these lesions. You can only see the surrounding uterine flow on color Doppler. Here's the left one with homogeneously hypoechoic texture with fine low level internal echoes. And this is the right one, which is slightly larger than the left one, with fine low-level internal echoes, indicating endometrioma. Here's the uterus in between two endometriomas, and it apparently looks quite normal. You can see a glimpse of endometrium from this view, though transabdominal ultrasound is not good in this case to evaluate the uterine abnormality. Is the picture to endometriomas coming nearby on transverse section, which indicates possibility of pelvic adhesion? Here's the measurement. As these endometriomas are less than 10 cm in maximum diameter, according to URERS, the score will be 2. And as we couldn't see any flow within these endometriomas on color Doppler, so the color score will be 1. So, in summary, two well defined round to oval hypoechoic homogeneous cystic areas with fine low level internal echoes are noted in bilateral tubo ovarian regions. Ovaries could not be separately visualized on transabdominal ultrasound, and color Doppler shows no internal vascularity. So, this feature is concluded as a case of bilateral adnexal endometriomas or chocolate cysts. Another take home message definitely, transvaginal ultrasound is quite easy procedure to see and diagnose the endometrioma. But on transabdominal ultrasound, if you face confusion, just decrease the gain to make the urinary bladder anechoic. If there is any adjacent simple cyst, they will become anechoic too, but the endometrioma won't. It will remain homogeneously hypoechoic. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to share it with your friends. This will help this channel grow. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.